Okay, this is part nine of the G4 conversion project, and it's looking pretty good. Um, we've been doing a little bit more cable management. Uh, now what we're in the process of doing is kind of tidying up all these cables. But if I lift it up here for you, uh, you can see that uh, all the cables are already ran in here. Now I do need to uh, attach this Bluetooth cable um, somewhere along here. I need to tidy this wire up here and then attach that so it doesn't short out on anything. But other than that, all this is pretty much all buttoned up. Uh, the only thing is I do have to hook up the airport cable, which is over here. And we have to run it over here and hook it up to that. And then it's a matter of, of just taking and running these antenna wires around underneath the back of the screen so we don't really see them that much. Now what we're going to do today is um, I am still working on the lighting system. So as far as the lighting system goes, um, I've already decided what I'm going to do. And I do have to pick it up this week. And next video we'll be installing the lighting kit. But right now, what I want to do is I want to power this up because I want to make sure that it is still working. So that's what we're going to do. Now, as far as, again, these wires here, we're going to tidy these up a little bit here, make them look a little nicer so it'll look nice and uniform. But other than that, all the other cables are hooked up. It is mounted firmly to the acrylic background here. And like I said, we can lift this up here and that's an operation position there. And of course, when we close it down, it really is not shorting out on anything because I looked at it here and it's actually sitting, there's a little bit clearance here, so it's not shorting out on any of the metal parts here, which is good. So yeah, but just as an added precaution, what I will do is I will put a little bumper on here. That way we know that uh, it's not going to short out on anything. So what I want to do is I want to hook up the barrel connector on it. Now, when I have this thing all hooked up, this is going to be mounted over here on this side over here. And it's going to actually run just on the other side of this uh, background here. And we're going to do some type of strain release so that way it can't accidentally get yanked out of here. So that's what we're going to do with that there. So this is where the barrel jack connector goes. And this is the first time I've actually plugged this in since this has been mounted. So I'm just kind of curious to see how this works here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of push on the other side of the board here. Now that there is uh, on and it's nice and firm. And I'm just making sure that everything is all connected here. And everything looks very good. There's a little flex in the board, but that's to be expected. But like I said, what we're going to do is we're going to mount this cord. That way it won't be in the way. And I'm thinking probably the best way to do this is just kind of run it down on the very side of it here. And that way uh, it won't uh, get tore up. All right, so let's see if we can get some life out of this thing here. We're going to plug it in here. Okay, so it is turning green means it's charging the battery here. Now it's red. So let's see if it powers up. Oh, listen to that. All right. Nice. Now we're running Sorbet Leopard on this. We're getting the Apple logo here. It's kind of hard to see it because of all the uh, lights on here. There we go. That way we're good. And it is starting to come up on the home screen here. Let me uh, turn these lights off here so you can see the screen a little better. And let's see if our trackpad works. Oh, yes, our trackpad works. Yay. Okay. And let's uh, click OK here. All right. Let's see if we can turn the brightness up here. Oh, I had it there for a minute. All right, let's, let's turn this off here. 
let's try it again. All right, let's try turn on again here. Okay, got a boot chime there. Okay, I see a backlight come up on it. There we go. There we go. And you can see it really good on the camera there. I got the brightness turned up all the way on the screen. I don't know, don't know exactly what happened there. But we'll let it uh, finish booting up here. And we're getting, we're booting into Sorbet. There's the uh, all the icons, the desktop loading up. Let's take the uh, mouse cursor here and we'll go over here and we'll click that. Now, let's see, let me turn the volume up. Let's see, I'll turn the, oh, okay. So let's see, so now let's take and turn, okay, so that's the brightness, okay. I don't know why it's not letting us turn on the keyboard there, but oh well, that's all right. It's all good. So yeah, looks screen looks pretty good on it there. Now I do have a little artifact right here, and I think there's a little issue with the screen there. But you know what? Uh, I will live with that. Uh, that's not gonna be a deal breaker. But yeah, it looks pretty pretty good there. If you can see it there. Very good. And I don't have the Wi-Fi connected up on this yet. Like I said, I have to hook up that little connector. But what I need to do is I need to uh, do a little more cable management. I need to get these antenna cables put on the back here. And like I said, let's see. If I lift this up, let's just see what happens here. All right. Still good. All right. Very good. And the Bluetooth is hooked up on it. And I got just this little thing right here because I don't want anything to short out in there. See, and the brightness works. Volume works okay. Nice, we got a lot of volume on it there. Good. Okay. Doesn't let me touch that. It's gonna look pretty cool when it's hanging up on the wall there. There we go. That's full brightness on this screen. And I just want to uh, acknowledge our channel sponsor, PCBA, and they can do all kinds of neat stuff. And they offer a variety of services like PCB prototyping, PCB assembly, Flex Rigid Flex PCB, CNC machining, 3D printing, offering you the best value, fast turnaround, one-on-one -on -one assistance, truly a one-stop solution for PCB and assembly. So go to PCBWay.com and see what they can do for you. And this is just one example of the neat things they do. They do injection molding, pretty cool. Acrylic, that's clear. They do different colors. But that's just some of the stuff that they can do. And it, this looks wonderful, the uh, the quality, uh, quality on it there. It's awesome, looks very good. So check out PCB Way and see what they can do for you. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn this off. And then uh, what we're gonna do is I wanna adjust this cable on the side of this thing here. Yeah. So what I wanna do is I wanna take this barrel charger cable and like I said I think I'm going to just um, I had a couple thoughts on it I thought maybe I just might run it underneath here like this but then it might interfere with the magnetic mount so I'm just gonna put it on the side here that way it doesn't run the risk of being accidentally unplugged and I'm breaking the uh, the barrel charger jack or even worse breaking these pins loose that are attached on the, the background here on the acrylic back plate. So I'm trying to figure out which will be the best way to do this. So 
So I think probably the best way for me to attach this, and I'm gonna have it kind of like that, so that way it's, um, you know, not have any extra stress on that charger there so I'm thinking I might just um, tack it with the CA glue that might work out just fine on that we will try and see how it works yeah that seems to be working pretty good there we're just sticking this down a little bit on the side here and that'll work pretty good so we'll uh, we'll continue doing this here until we get it to basically uh, Right here on the end here, that's where I want it to stop, right about there. I don't think, I mean, I could run it around the corner. Um, don't know yet. We'll just uh, continue sticking it down here and see what we got here. Okay, so we got it all uh, anchored from the barrel jack all the way down to the edge of the acrylic there. So I'm not decided yet if I'm going to continue this a little bit or if I'm just going to leave it right there. But for right now, we got that there. And then uh, this shininess, all we have to do when it glues dry is it just takes a very, very light little nail file with a little emery board on it and just that'll doll it back down. That'll get all the shininess off the glue there. Okay, but that stuck really good. So that's excellent. So good. So we have the power jack all connected to it there. So it's coming along quite nicely. I'm very pleased with it here. So we're all powering up. We just gotta run a few more wires. And like I said, next time we'll be playing with the lighting kit on it. And that'll be pretty neat. And then we'll be ready to uh, get the magnetic mounts so we can actually mount it on the wall. And then we got a couple more little things to do to the keyboard here. So I'd say a couple more uh, episodes of this and it should be done and I appreciate you watching the video here so please like and subscribe and click that notification bell to get all the latest updates we're on MeWe we're on Twitter we're on Mastodon you can reach out to me there that's the social networks that I hang out on and until next time I'll see you in the next video have a great rest of your week and I'll see you later bye